On September 7, IDPs took to the street of Maiduguri to protest against conditions and the camps. These and other unsolved controversies inspired NOI to go beyond its usual survey on economic issues to focus on IDP camps. The outcome showed that starvation is not the only problem, as more than 60% of respondents say sexual abuse is a major problem. Evidence to suggest that there was sex for food going on, sex for free movement going on in some of these camps. And sometimes, in some cases, it's not, it is voluntary, it's negotiated. I'm hungry, I don't want to die, I give myself up so that I can have access to food. Or I give myself up so that I can have access to basic sanitary conditions. Or I want to leave the camp so that I can go out and beg for arms. It could be in exchange for sex. This is how bad the situation is. The report also showed that 93% of IDPs surveyed complained about diversions of relief supplies. This, they say, has led to many people having little or no access to food. Also, evidence of corruption and sharp practices. At least 93% of all the IDPs said that food and relief materials, medicines, are not getting to them. If you ask me to summarize this whole survey, the summary of the whole survey is that food, relief materials, are not getting to the IDPs. So if there's anything that needs to be done is how can food and relief materials be made to get to the IDPs? Women and children make up 80% of the IDPs population and there is an increase in prostitution caused by lack of food. There are concerns that this could lead to high rates of STDs. Then you target female and child-headed household and pregnant and lactating like women directly for food security action. If you go to a degree, out of 10, you must meet three households that are headed by, by a minor. 18 years girl, she has some three or four, five kids that are led by her mom. The mom was killed by Boko Haram, the father has been abducted nowhere to the farm. And you see her, and she has to feed those particular kids. What is she going to do to feed them? Of course, you can guess, she has to go on prostitution. So the rate of prostitution has now increased. And you know the resultant effect is what is, this, what is going to produce to the society. Increase in uh, HIVA and so on, all these things are what will be uh, the product of those things if it is not properly handled. Gender-based violence, about 60% of all IDPs have experienced one form of violence or the other, ranging from sexual violence, like sex for food, rape, like where young, girl, young IDPs are being violated sexually, emotionally and physical violation during, I mean, during distribution, as well as exploitation of the IDPs. These people are recommending transparency and accountability even among humanitarian groups as well as an urgent skill training for IDPs. But more importantly, they are demanding that President Muhammad Buhari pay an unannounced visit to IDP camps for a first-hand account of the situation in the camps. Matilda Oboese, PTV News, Abuja.